Our team page displays all of the company employees. As the business owner, you might want to add, remove or reorder the employees at any time and to enable this we can use what we call a repeating region in Perch, which gives them some flexibility. So this is my team.php page, I've added the Perch runtime and setting up this page should be fairly familiar at this point if you've already followed these videos. The details for each team member are in this div with a class of article and vcard. And so I've created a Perch template, employee.html, which contains all the fields there. So back on team.php, we can remove all of those items. There's quite a few. I'll scroll through and get rid of them all. And then we'll add a Perch region. And I'm going to call this one Team. So we save this page, we we'll go back to the page and reload it. And as you're now used to, the uh, information all disappears off the page. And we can go into our admin, reload the admin, and here's our new page that's appeared with the new region Team. And I found my employee template. And this time I'm going to set Allow Multiple Items on this template and hit submit. So you can see it's changed here a little bit. We've got our template to fill in as normal. And then down here, we've got this save and add another, as well as saving the changes. So we can now add more than one member of our team. So we could fill someone in. And we can find an image for them. And we can add some biographical information. And then we can hit save and add another. And hit save changes there. And then if we go back to our page, we can see that they're starting to appear. Let's have a little look in admin. Now, we can see here that we're getting each item is just being added one after the other. We scroll down and so if you had a hundred items, they're all going to display one after the other, which is going to make a very, very long page. Now that might be fine if you've only got a few things to add or the content's very small. It might be nice to edit it all on one page. But for a lot of content, I think for content like this, there are enough fields that I would go into region options and uncheck edit all on one page and save that. And then if we go back to the team, you can see now that we've got this list detail editing. So we just edit one team member at a time. You can also see that we've got the name of the person as the item to link through. So we can see their name there. Now you get this by using a title attribute in your template. So we'll have a look at that. So when I created the template, I put title equals true on two fields on given name and family name. So you can see here this title equals true. If we go to region options, and you can see here this join title fields with. Now in our case, we're quite happy using the default, which is a space, but you could add something else here to link up more than one item. A lot of the time you'll just want to have one item set as title equals true. For instance, if you had a listing of uh, news items, you'd probably want the actual title of the news item as the title and then that would appear in the list. So that's really the basics of using a repeating region in Perch. You create a template and then you set it to repeat. And then you have various options in the admin to change how that displays by default. Now this isn't the only way to repeat things in Perch, but this is the sort of simplest way to do it. Uh, something that's worth noting is that if you decided to upgrade a Perch site to Runway, you can turn a region, a repeating region like this, into a collection. So that's a very nice upgrade path for sites where, where you thought there was only going to be a small amount of content and suddenly you're finding that these regions are getting very, very large. 
um, moving them to runway would make them perform an awful lot better because of the architectural changes in runway. And you can do that very, very simply by importing a region into a collection.